What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, a big box good. This pair of running sneaker, this is the Nike AirZoom Pegasus 39. It was $130. A review and impressions, an overview, a quick look. Let's take a look at the design, compare and contrast, and at the end, try it on. Okay guys, first impressions, on DickSportingGoods.com it looks underwhelming, but in person looks far more premium and forward looking, and actually I'd like to contradict what I just said about this shoe being forward looking because it is almost like a nylon mesh upper instead of a fabric mesh upper, so compare this to Adidas or other shoes from Nike, Brooks, which is a running shoe, uh, usually have a cotton fabric mesh. And this sort of harkens back, I think, on older style tennis shoes is it's a nylon mesh upper. It's a little bit uh, coarse, more coarse than a cotton fabric mesh upper. Case in point about the upper half of the shoe being a nylon mesh fabric is the fact it has reflective properties. But here, what saves this shoe, what puts it in the price range that it is in compared to less expensive shoes by Nike is the design. So not only does it depart, like I said earlier, from the previous designs of other running shoes of previous years using cotton fabric mesh upper. It uses a nylon mesh upper, it's breathable, it's lightweight, and it's more durable I think it will be. Uh, what puts this shoe in such an expensive price tier above $100 like I said is the design, the way the shoe looks. So. Usually with shoes of this colorway, less expensive, uh, you don't get some of the characteristic features that this shoe has. It's got this really cool uh, sharp line at the back. It's three-dimensional actually. Looking at the shoe, it looks an edgy, streamlined look as where a shoe of this color pattern uh, without those design accents might look just a little bit dull or rounded off. This shoe is edgy, it's sharp. And one interesting design note is it is filled in Nike check on the inside of the shoe, but hollow on the outside. And most importantly in every shoe review video is this has a removable foot orthotic, great for keeping the shoe clean, smelling fresh, or inserting your own. So in conclusion to my first impressions, this shoe departs from the cotton fabric mesh upper of yesteryear. It's more durable, it's a reflective surface, it's lightweight, it's breathable, and gives this shoe with its pretty dull and simple black and white color pattern a edgy, more premium look. Okay guys, first impressions, shoe on foot, size 11, picked these up for $130, DickSportingGoods.com, they delivered them, uh, no socks, which is how I prefer wearing them, um, will continue to wear them this way. Like I showed you earlier, these have a removable foot orthotic, so easy to clean or insert a new one or insert your own. Um, also. It gives me the opportunity to talk about the materials of the shoe now that without a sock I can feel them. And what I can tell you, even though this 
departs, like I said earlier, from the uh, cotton mesh upper. This is a nylon or sort of neoprene or neoprene. Not sure which is the correct term. Uh, please correct me in the comment section below. What is different, more cushiony feeling than uh, soft or um, expandable like the cotton is. I would say the cotton is uh, more expandable. This breathes the same, uh, but as you can see, I'm poking my toes out there. Um, it, they don't stick through as much like they do on cotton uh, mesh upper running shoes, like the ones from earlier in the video that I overlaid the Brooks running shoe. Uh, so a different foot feel. It's a little more uh, secure feeling. It's a little more uh, rigid inside. And what I can say is it is cushiony. It's like walking on a cloud. Um, it has great spring and support at the front of the shoe and at the back of the shoe as well. It has good arc support, I would also say. And uh, typically, as someone who tends toward a wider shoe, I have a wider foot, I would say that this shoe uh, is accommodating my foot well, even though it is just a little more uh, rigid than a cotton mesh upper. And in addition to what I was saying earlier about colorway uh, being a little bit boring or mundane, that they are black and white, it can be worn both at daytime and nighttime. Anyways, guys, that has been the Nike Men's Pegasus 39 running sneaker I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods because I picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods that makes this a big box good. This has been a quick impressions, an overview, a first look, a try on at $130. Perhaps would have gone for maybe a better colorway, but black and white, what's great about this colorway is that you can wear it anytime, day or night, and it matches pretty much any outfit you can pair with it. It is a running sneaker, but different from most other designs on the market from Brooks and even Nike and Adidas and other brands, Asics. This shoe uh, utilizes a sort of nylon, neoprene, uh, composite mesh upper instead of a cotton mesh upper. So uh, this one a little bit more coarser, it's kind of scratchy. Uh, it is not scratchy wearing this on foot. It is comfortable, it's a little more rigid, uh, it's a little more structured feeling than a cotton pair. Uh, the cotton pair, your toes can stick out uh, if you wiggle them. Uh, they are a little bit more flexible, almost like a glove or a sock. This is more in line with a shoe and its rigidity, uh, in particular in reference to um, the neoprene mesh upper, contrasted to cotton mesh upper on shoes we've reviewed in the past, like on the Adidas Capture 2.0, for example. A bit of a mouthful, I know, but uh, these are all things that we have compared and contrasted on this channel before. So, uh, great to see uh, a departure in design. Uh, really comfortable shoe. Uh, it accommodates my wider foot. Uh, so, but maintains this very narrow and streamlined and athletic look, I think. Uh, even though, like I said earlier, at this colorway, a bit boring, a bit dull, probably would have sprung for a better color option if I had a little more money. Uh, this, though, even though it's black and white, still looks sharp and athletic uh, with updated styling. Again, compared to other black and white pairs of shoes you can buy at Nike uh, for less expensive, uh, this is a good option. Uh, my name is John. I really hope you enjoyed Anyways, guys, my name is John. I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions, quick look, overview, try on. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below your experience, share this video with friends and family, and hit that bell icon to get notified when we post YouTube. Thanks again so much for tuning in. My name is John because I picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods. That makes this a big box good. I will see you in the next video.